Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new to me, kindly click on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel free of charge so that you don't miss anything on this channel in this video i will be sharing with you some insight into the oduifa ikameji ikameji takes the 11th position in the order of the 16 major oduifa in this Odu, Ifa tells a story about the people of Ika town. This story will enable you to get some insight into what this Odu says. So, the story goes that in Ika town, Everyone in this town bears a powerful name, each with sounding Kaka. From their Ifa priest to their king, whose name is called Onikahamogun, the name of their Ifa priest or Elemoka, Ajanomoka, and Owarankaka. The town has two special chieftaincy titles whose name are Aro and Odofin. This Odu Ifa story says that all the chiefs of this town have a taboo attributed to them each. These taboos are 1. Aro Ika does not eat dog and 2. Odofin Ika does not eat Ram Onikahamogun, who is their king, do not eat eagles. This follows a stanza of this Odu, which says Elemoka Ajanomoka Owarankaka Ewagmoro. Kakakoro leyo lile ninle biorun akeka. Meaning, all efforts to make this town calm proves abortive. This stanza goes further. Awoni wante onika ika nifa. Wante. Onika Amogun Nifa Wante Aroika Nifa Wante Odofika Nifa Aroika King Daja Odofika King Jago Onika Amogun King Jewuko Mini This priest Cast Ifa for Onika Ika. The cast Ifa for Onika Mogun. The cast Ifa for Aroika. The cast Ifa for Odofin Ika. Aroika does not eat dog. Odofin Ika does not eat ram. Onika Mogun 
Don't eat e-goat. This Odu goes further. It talks about Onika Mogun, the king of Ika town. This king could not find a wife. He was told to offer sacrifice. He did. He then got a wife and bear children. This indicates that this Odu can be revealed to a very important person in the society who is in need of a wife. If this person offers sacrifice, which will be prescribed by the Babalawo who reveals this Odu, such person would find a wife and bear children. This is backed with a stanza of this Odu, which says, Igun ashoni fori gun jogu inle, Sobia ninda bi eran owu ade afoni ka mogun omo akawuro ko inu etu ni ojo tin sunkun wipe ohun ori obirin fe won ni ki o sure tete ebo ni ki o wa se aseriru ebo ni gbe ni airu ebo ki n gbe niyan Many birds of the same feather flock together. This cast Ifa for Onika Mogun on the day he was crying for not having a wife. He was told to quickly offer sacrifice. In fact, offering of sacrifice pays. Doing otherwise does not pay. However, the most important aspect of this Odu talks about Shongo Olukoso, that is, the attributes of Shongo as he was a warrior. This Odu talks about how Shongo used to open ways for his followers when he was alive, and that Shongo does not like lies. This indicates that as much as you want your ways to open, you must not be a liar. This Odu speaks of running away from evil thoughts, evil actions, and evil utterances. If I says evil does not pay, but doing good and thinking good and speaking out good words attract huge blessings from Olodumare, known as God. This Odu says that continuous evil attracts causes that can be transferred from one generation to another and that can last forever. This Odu says that the habit of doing well, speaking well, and thinking good should be one attribute. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel free of charge so that you don't miss anything on this channel. Until we see again, get a better life.